How's it going everybody? This is Chris and you're watching Pop Rock Cuts and for this episode we're going to be unboxing a Chalice Collectibles Black Friday Mystery Box. Let's see. How's it going everybody? We are back with another video and we're going to be unboxing a Chalice Collectibles Funko Pop Mystery Box. But before we get to it, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell, that way you guys are notified every time I drop a video. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. So this one was a mystery box from Chalice Collectibles. This is my first Chalice Collectibles mystery box. Um, and this one was part of the Black Friday, one of the Black Friday deals where they had um, they had a golden box, which was um, um, it, it was like a two hundred dollar box. Then they had, I want to say it was like a $100 box, and then they had a $50 box, and then they had a $30 box um, with different stuff in it. And, um, so yeah, so we're gonna, we got the $50 box. Um, and I, if I'm not mistaken, some of the, the top uh, hits on that box was, um, you could get one of the Haunted Mansion, Glow in the Dark, uh, you know, the exclusives that were exclusive a long time ago to, to the one of the cons that are really expensive. Uh, you can get a Master Chaco, and you and one I think another one was uh, uh, Cthulhu. Um, I think it was Emerald City Comic Con uh, exclusive Cthulhu. Um, but and I'm not sure what I don't know if there was more or what. But you get six pops in each. And uh, so let's see what we got. So I see we've got one, there's two, three, four, there's five and six. Two of them are protectors, soft protectors. So um, well, let's see what we got. So we'll do this middle one here. And we got, boom. Ooh, Pluto. This one is Pluto. It's got a little bit of a damage in the back. Oh, no, never mind. That must have been like a, like a crumb or something. Um, and this is from the movie Us. Um, I haven't seen the movie. I started watching it um, and I actually fell asleep when I was watching it. Um, not because it was a boring movie. The movie was really good from the beginning, at the very beginning and everything. Um, it was just. I watched it late at night and I was tired and I just passed out. Um, so this is Pluto, um, which that is cool. I really like that pop. Then, let's see, let's do this one. This one is, okay, this is the front. Boom. All right, this one is Rocket Holiday. Uh, which is Rocket Raccoon on a pretty much like a snowmobile And he's got his uh, scarf and his beanie on and whatnot um, So that's pretty dope. I like that one I'm gonna try to find a way to Get these up so that you guys can see. I know when I put the little emblem on the side, it's gonna Probably knock it out of the way. So yeah, Let's do this Boom. There we go. Hopefully that's in the shot. Then, okay, so we got this one here. Okay, that's the front. This one is, boom. Black Widow. This is from the 80 years. So this is like the OG Black Widow. Um, which is cool. I'm, I'm not a big fan of these 80 year ones um, But this one and it's got a, its first appearance on the back So that's cool um, Which was Tales of Suspense number five Yeah, I'm not a big too fan of these 80 ones. I like how they have their first appearance um, Comic on the back and like I said on that Iceman box. I like how it it's got the box where it's different. You've got the mat, but everything else on it, other than like where it says Funko, is actually um, like glossy. So that's that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a big fan of those pops, but I mean, it is what it is. And 
This is the last one that's not in any protector. And uh, so here's the next one. This is they're facing up and boom. And it's another Momo. And I've already got this pop. Um, but I don't remember mine having the the uh, insert being the full front to back. Maybe it always did. I don't know. I just didn't pay attention. But we got Momo from My Hero Academia. Oh, so that's cool. I mean, I have it already. Um, so maybe we can use that for some trade. And then, okay, so we got these two in the, in the soft protectors. And we're gonna, let's do this one. Ready? Um, I'm just gonna flip it just because everything was faced a certain way. And this one is, boom! Okay, so I see it's a Super Saiyan Vegeta. And it is, all right, the Red Chrome Vegeta. This was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, shared the hot topic, um, Red Chrome Vegeta. Um, this one, funny story about this pop is, I, man, this, called this, um, this soft protector is thick, man. Wow, I like that. I'm gonna start getting some of these. Uh, besides this point, funny story about this pop. I had bought this one alongside with the Quasimodo online when it went live for San Diego Comic Con. And I guess I never went and picked it up and it got sent back to Hot Topic. So I was there and then by the time I went back, I, you know, I kept seeing them when I was out and I was like, oh, I got mine coming. I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to get it. I didn't get it and I haven't seen it at Hot Topic since. So that's cool to finally be able to get the red chrome. I have the blue chrome. I'm missing the gold chrome. Um, those pops really didn't take off as much as people thought they were going to take off. But they're still, I mean, I guess they're really, to me, they're really cool pops. I don't. I don't like the reuse of molds and stuff like that when it's too much. And I think this mold's been used quite a bit already. Um, so hopefully that's it with this mold. I know they've been dropping some hot heat with the Vegetas. That chase, they got that Chase Vegeta coming in. Um, and they got two Chase Vegetas coming in now. Um, so that's tight. So we're stoked about that one. So let's see, this next pop protector one. And okay, so this is... All right, ready? And it is, boom! All right, Sasuke's and Scarred Mark, or Cursed Mark, I should say. That. And I already have this pop too. I got it actually in a Toy Temple mystery box, the last one I got. Um, this is the uh, limited edition, the convention exclusive Sasuke um, uh, with the Cursed Mark. Um, and this is a really cool pop. Like this, it, it, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not upset that I got two. I wish I would have gotten something a little different. I wish that Momo would have been different. Um, but this is still a really cool pop. Um, but it's crazy because, like at first, they were almost hard to get, and now you literally just order a mystery box, and you're most likely gonna get it now, um, which is crazy. But it is still a cool looking pop. Um, and uh but yeah and that's pretty much that's it for this uh mystery box uh for child's collectibles it's not a bad mystery box i paid 60 dollars um and um so yeah let's uh um yeah um i would definitely do another uh, mystery box for child's collectibles uh but it was you know i, I got I don't know. I haven't. I don't know the values of these yet. So we're putting them up on the screen as they go. Um, but yeah, it was pretty dope. So if you guys like what you guys saw, we got a lot of more mystery boxes coming in. I got you know one from Toy Tokyo coming, not Toy Tokyo from uh, Toy USA coming in. I've got one from Galactic Toys coming in that is taking its really sweet time. I didn't wasn't thinking it was gonna take that long, but um, whatever. 
Um, but then we got some more unboxings coming in. So hopefully you guys like that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, we'll try to keep that, that vibe kind of going on here. I haven't really been pop hunting um, really as much lately. I've literally just been doing mystery boxes and trying to uh, um, um, locate some uh, grails that I've been wanting to get. So we're probably going to start doing like a like a grail of the month type of video where we go out and get a, a grail that's in our list that we want to get. Um, just kind of change things up on the channel. Um, but if you guys like what you guys saw, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, whichever way order you want to do that in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time I drop a video. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode.